Here's something you probably should have all time. I usually have four or five of these. I always carry four in my truck and uh, I've always got a couple in my um, my knapsack. And these are uh, mosquito head nets, bug nets, whatever. And there's many different types and I did a lot of research and I really read a lot of reviews is what I took a look at. But these come in a very small package as you can see. Let's zoom in down here on them really tight. So, and you can see there it's a head mosquito nut fine woven and it came with two of them. So let's take a look at one. You know, it's got your drawstring on it and that. This is actually a really thick nylon is what this is. So I'm quite surprised by that. But here's the actual net. And uh, it is quite large. Let's go back up. As you can see. And it is really fine. That is really fine. Now, you'll notice at the very top here, there's nothing there. It's all net. Now, I had seen many of these head nets had material at the top, and then they sewed the net to it. I guess that made a cheaper way of doing it. I'm not sure. But where I live in Tennessee, it gets hot here. And the mosquitoes and the gnats and the deer flies and the bugs are out heavy in the heat. They're not out in the winter. So I didn't want nothing keeping the heat in. Even the baseball cap I wear is made out of nylon where it's not even that thick to prevent you from sweating the best you can. But these don't last forever. They never do. You know. It does feel pretty strong. Like I'm not ripping it or anything. But these do wear in time. Let me zoom in and show you this. Okay. So the netting is very small. I mean, nothing's going to get into that for sure. Nothing at all is what I'm noticing. The stitching on the seams. You know, they did a really good job on this. And it does come with a tie, to, a tie down here that you pull up. It goes around your neck. And like I said, it comes with its own carrying case. This is actually really thick nylon, like I said. It probably is adding some ounces to it if you're if you're an ounce uh, counter. But this is well made. But like I said, I normally keep four or five of these in the vehicle, and so they're super cheap. I mean, this this package came with two. I'll have a link at the bottom if you want to pick it up. But not having these, I'll tell you, it, it's it's a lifesaver. A lot of times I'll jump out of my truck and. Um, I'll go take a photo of something because I enjoy photography. And, you know, I'll get two steps back in the bush to get this photo that I'm seeing of a deer or something. And I'm being attacked by mosquitoes so hard it makes it very hard to deal with my camera. By throwing this over top of my head, I pull it out of the glove apartment. You know, I mean, I'm protecting myself right away. And you really have to give a lot of thought to what's going on anymore, especially with ticks, um, mosquitoes. I mean... Anything that bites you, I mean, it's like you can get infected with just about anything now. And getting sick is no fun when you start getting older. So if you don't have these, I really suggest you go pick up these or some other ones. I really like this one because it looks it really looks like it's well made. And I only picked up one for now because it came with two. And I wanted to check it out, but I'm definitely going to order some more of these. But, but like I said, I mean, have them in your vehicle, have them in your backpack. Just have them one everywhere, your, in your purse, whatever. These things come in so much handy that it's amazing. You break down along the side of the road and you got to walk a certain amount of ways, you're going to find out real quick how something so cheap could give you a little bit of peace of mind while you're going down the road. Because the last thing you want is like a hundred deer flies chasing you and stinging at your ears and everything. So let's have a look and see how it looks, and uh, you'll see it's not that big of an issue. Okay, let's take a look at um, how it looks when you put it on. I usually wear these nylon, 
and they got screen on the side type of hats to release as much heat as possible in the summertime. But um, this thing just pops on like this. And you'll notice when you have a hat on, okay, the brim keeps the uh, screen away from you. And you can see how to be pretty good. I do see some of the screen. I could move it where there's not a crease to help. That's a lot better. And set it up. So, and you can see out of it. I mean, not perfectly. I'll, I'll tell you that right now. It's not. Um, it's not perfectly clear like without it. You do see a little bit of the net because you know it's there, but you can see just fine. And when the bugs are out, if you don't have one of these on, you're gonna go crazy. You really are. And uh, for what these things cost, I mean. It's just foolish. And like I said, I usually have four or five of them in my truck, four on the on the low side, and uh, a couple in my backpacks. I mean, I just stick them in the pockets, and then when I go backpacking or I do some photography, you know, and I clean my knapsack out, I'll look at it and say, oh, yeah, i got to make sure I take that. I just make sure it's always there because it's easy to lose these. It's really easy to lose these because of how small they are. So it's better to just have them in the glove compartment, have them tucked in your backpack, for, and you double check your backpack before you leave. And it just makes life so much easier. But um, as for your hands, you know, when you're out, you can throw, most people bring an extra pair of socks, I do. You can throw a pair of socks over your hands and protect your hands. But um, not having something over your face when the mosquitoes are bad, especially how light these things are. I mean, these things are amazing. At any rate, <laughs> Without uh, going on and on, um, links in the description if you want to pick yourself up some. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one.